Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with a polynomial system. We have x plus y plus z is equal to 0 and x, y, z is equal to 4. And we're supposed to evaluate x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed. Now you might be questioning, how on earth are we going to be able to solve for x, y, z and then evaluate the sum of the cubes? Because we only have two equations and we were not told this is a Diophantian equation, so we're not solving for integers or rationals. So they're all reals. How do you solve it? Well, this is a special case scenario, which I'll show you in a little bit. There's a really cool identity. Maybe you know about it already, but don't say it yet. We're going to use that with the second method. So the first method is kind of like a proof of what is used in the second method. So that's, I think, is going to be helpful, especially if you're studying algebra and learning about factoring. Uh, this could be considered a little bit advanced factoring. It's not like difference of two squares or, you know, just ta taking out the common factor. A little bit more advanced. But this is a very important identity, and I've done similar videos before. Hopefully you'll remember them. All right, great. So let's start with the first method. So for my first method, I'm going to start with the first equation. Now, why is this system special, even though there are two equations with three unknowns? The reason why it's special is because the sum of these variables is equal to zero. So that happens in infinitely many ways, but for all those ways, we have something special, or should I say constant? <laughs> all right, let's see. So since x plus y plus z is equal to zero, from here, I would like to isolate z. If I isolate z, I'm gonna get negative x minus y. You could also write this as the opposite of x plus y, which might be a little helpful for our purposes. So let's leave it at that. Now, next thing I want to do is look at x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed. What is x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed, right? Well, with our assumption, since z could be written as this, I can go ahead and substitute that. Let's do it. x cubed plus y cubed. And if you cube this, obviously the minus is going to be go outside and we're going to cube the x plus y. Make sense? So in other words, if you cube the opposite of x plus y, you get the opposite of x plus y cubed. Makes sense, right? Because negative 1 to the third power is negative 1. Now, we can go ahead and expand this. This is x cubed plus y cubed, but there's a nice formula with cubes, remember? We also use this with the cubic formula. So I'm going to expand it like this, kind of like a little bit more compact form. x cubed plus y cubed cancel out. These cancel out. And these terms will come with a negative. So our sum of three cubes is going to be equivalent to negative 3xy times x plus y. So this is what I'm trying to evaluate. So let's save this for now because I'm going to get back to it later. And I want to now look at xy and x plus y. I have something for x plus y. Do I? Well, sort of. x plus y can be written as negative z from here, right? So that's something I can use. Uh, and then, let's write it down here so we can easy reach. Okay. What about xy? I do need xy because if I know what it is, then I can evaluate it. Well, I don't know the numerically what x plus y is, but like I told you earlier, this is a special case scenario. So now what is xy and how do I find xy? Look at the second given. We didn't use it yet. xyz is equal to 4. So can I use it? Sure, why not? x, y, z is equal to 4. From here, I want to take out x, y, or isolate it. So that can be written as 4 over z. Nice. So I have these two things, first and second, the x plus y and the x, y. And they're both in terms of z, which is nice. So what, I'm trying to, what am I trying to find? This, x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed, and that is equal to negative 3 x, y, which can be replaced with 4 over z times x plus y, which can be replaced with negative z. And this is just awesome because z cancels out. This is why it's so special. Make sense? Now we're going to cancel out the z. Don't forget the minus sign. Multiply by another minus sign. It's going to become positive. Therefore, the sum of the cubes of these three numbers will be 3 times 4. They're both positive, And that is actually 12. So the answer is 12. And let's talk about the second method, which is kind of like a proof of, well, 
the first method is the proof of the second, sort of. Okay, let's take a look at the identity we kind of proved. You don't, you may not see it, but you could if you kind of put this together in a different way. So the second method is going to use an awesome, and I find this really awesome. You can make a lot of problems with this idea. It's just amazing. Because who would think that such an expression would be factorable, right? I mean, I wouldn't. If they, if they ask me, like, do you think this is factorable? I would probably say no, if, if I haven't tried anything yet, right? But then, here's what happens. This expression is divisible by x plus y plus z. Are you serious? Yes. Now, any, when you factor this, it becomes the following. It becomes x plus pi, y plus z, and then that is multiplied by x squared plus y squared plus z squared, and then you subtract minus xy minus xz minus yz. By the way, the second factor can be written as a sum of squares divided by 2, but that's another story. We don't have to worry about it. Why not? Because x plus y plus z is equal to 0. This is what makes it so special because when x plus y plus z is 0, the whole thing becomes 0. That's the power of 0. 0 is not nothing, right? A lot of people say 0 is nothing. No. It's a lot of things, right? Okay. Anyways, so this the whole thing becomes 0, which is interesting because this gives you the sum of the cubes, the sum of the cubes equals 3 times the product. But guess what? We know the product. x, y, z is equal to 4. And we're trying to evaluate the sum of the cubes. So we got what we wanted. It's 12. That's it, right? Done. Finished. Okay. So the answer is 12 again. Shouldn't be a surprise, right? Okay. So that's an identity that's very, very useful. Make sure to know that. Okay. Obviously, this brings a lot of different consequences, such as if x plus y plus z is equal to 0, then x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed is equal to 3xyz. Or we could come up with a problem like this. I think this was a problem that I've seen a while ago in one of the books. And this is really cool. If this polynomial is divisible by x plus y plus z, what is the value of m? Try it. It's fun. Okay. Because how do you manipulate something like this when you have three variables? And is there a similar identity for four or more variables? That's another interesting story. And this also goes along with some of the, uh, what is it called? The averages, I think, like, uh, you know, the means, like arithmetic mean, power mean, so on and so forth. Anyway, that Again, that's a totally different story. Let's just talk about something else. Now, the something else is actually the third method, even though I didn't um, intend to do it initially. But let me quickly tell you what you could have done. And if you have a multiple choice problem, definitely go for it. Don't, don't hesitate because you have to get it right quickly, as quickly as possible. So, but with other tests, it's a little tricky. So since I'm expecting to get, let's say this is a multiple choice problem and I know all the answer choices are constant. So I know this is going to be a constant. So why not use some numbers whose product is equal to 4? So can I just pick 4 for x? And then if x is equal to 4, then y plus z needs to be negative 4. So you've got to pick two numbers whose product is 1 and whose sum is negative 4. Those numbers might be a little hard to find, but if you look for them, hopefully you can find something that will work better. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.